I've never done anything to a child. Why do I have to go register as a sex offender? I'm not a sex offender. I'm HIV positive. I did not understand the criminal laws on HIV until I was charged. You have to pay your $150 fees. Anywhere a child would be, you can't go. I got handcuffed and all I heard was, your bond is set at $100,000. In 2006, I met a gentleman. I let him know that I was HIV positive. He was fine with it. We dated. The relationship wasn't going good. So we mutually decided to separate. What I didn't know that he was about to file charges. The police officers came into my job and they asked me, was I LaShonda Salinas? And I told them, yes, sir, how may I help you? And he tells me, your boyfriend has filed charges against you for criminal exposure to HIV. At that moment, my heart sank. The first plea was three years in a woman's prison. The second plea was a year and a half in the women's prison and a year and a half on probation. I didn't accept any of those pleas. On March 26, My father passed, and I'm in jail. My case manager got everything together to get me a furlough so I could go home and at least pay my respects to my father. Day before my father's funeral, my public defender, she told me that my furlough was granted, and also there was one last plea, and that was three years probation. I accepted. I went before the judge to sign my plea, and at that time, what I didn't know, my life was about to change. Um, right now, we're fixing to head to the Sheriff's Department, where I have to go and pay my registry fees at. That is $150 a year, and the registry I have to do is every three months. My probation officer called me at work and told me, you've got to go register as a sex offender. And I'm like, Ma'am, you got the wrong person. Sorry. You have the wrong person. I've never done anything to a child. Why do I have to go register? But she told me because of the Tennessee code, I had to go register as a sex offender. Being a sex offender in Tennessee means you can't be within a thousand feet of a school. You cannot reside with another sex offender. You cannot go to a library. You can't go to a daycare. If you do get caught, the first consequence is 90 days in jail with a $350 fine. My name is John Ray Clemens. I represent District 55 in the Tennessee House of Representatives. The laws that are still in the books in the state of Tennessee and many other states, unfortunately, don't reflect any of the scientific advances that we've made through decades of research. We've worked on this for years. I've introduced legislation to update the laws. Uh, we have made multiple efforts at this. I've had a loved one suffer from and, and, and die of AIDS. You shouldn't need to see that to be motivated to work on this issue or to have a little compassion or empathy towards those who suffer from this terrible disease. But having seen it, I'm certainly motivated and I'm gonna to continue to fight. My story with HIV began when I was 16 years old. I was in a relationship with a gentleman that had AIDS and he didn't tell me. That's how I became HIV positive. Hello, officer. How are you? I'm good, how are you? When I was in high school, there was a blood drive at the school, so I gave blood, and I get a letter in the mail from American Red Cross 
LaShonda Salinas. Yes, ma'am. And all I see is HIV antibodies. The first thing that came to mind was, I'm never gonna have kids. Who's gonna want me? I'll never be in a relationship. I'm gonna die soon, so why do anything? I had to tell my mother. I think that was the hardest thing I ever had to go through at the age of 16. It was a secret that I carried through school, but in the year 2000, it did come out. And the best friends that I had, they left. I had maybe two or three that stayed with me. And actually, I went homebound school that year. At that point, I'm in a state of depression. Nobody wants to be around me. I contemplated suicide. I had my family for support, but like friends, I didn't have any. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it together. That's correct. I feel drained because it's like, when I do this, I tense up because knowing in my heart, I didn't do anything wrong. After I register and everything, I go home and I just relax the rest of the day. I don't do anything just to get my strength and everything back up because this is an exhausting part of my life. Finally, we were able to get some people across the aisle and make a little progress. This new build removes people who are dealing with that infectious disease from the sex offender registry, which is archaic in nature to begin with. We really need to take additional steps to remove the stigma surrounding HIV and other STIs. We need to stop criminalizing these individuals. Yes, 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 it's changing. I'll have my life back. I can see families and cousins that I haven't been able to see because of this. Really, I'm not gonna know how to act because I've done this for so long. When it's time for me to come off, I know probably in three months, I'm gonna try to go register. And I'm gonna have to stop myself and say, you know, LaShonda, this is not your life anymore. <laughs>